So I realized I'd be really mad at myself if I skipped another day this week. Even though I already showered, I didn't wash my makeup off. Again, you just get to see the the hair undone, but not the makeup. And uh, yeah, so it is the 1st of January 2012, this year that I've been hearing about forever is finally here. Finally. Finally here. I didn't think it would ever come. I was like, 2012? That is like so far away. We made like these time capsules in first grade. Time capsules means like shoe boxes. And we put like lots of our favorite stuff in them or pictures and stuff that reminded us the stuff we like. Right? Yeah, we put all that crap in a box and wrapped it up like a gift. And uh, our parents, like they taped it shut and it says this thing on it. It says, don't open till 2012. We're supposed to open it when we graduate. And our parents have them. I know my mom has it in her closet, like on a shelf. I'm like, I'm kind of scared. I'm like, that's really weird that I'm already opening a time capsule. Like, has that much time gone by? Oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm freaking out. But yeah, it's 2012. People are like, oh, the world's going to end. Like, it's pretty great. Um, okay. Whatever. The world's gonna end. I know it. Whether it's this year or not, it doesn't matter. Jesus is coming back. Get over it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, my party last night was pretty good, I guess. I had, just like I said, just Brent and Raven slash Alex and, like, a couple of her friends and her sister and Dusty, Raven's boyfriend. And, uh, we had, um, well, an interesting night. First, before they came over, Raven calls me. And she's like, Hey, I, I just got some goldfish, and I was wondering if you had a bowl I could put them in. I was like, well, first off, WTF, like, goldfish? What? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what possesses her to do certain things, but it's really weird. And, um, like, uh, a bowl. Um, yeah, you can put a goldfish in any freaking bowl. And we're normal people. We do have bowls. I'm just like, you're dumb. <laughs> but, yeah. So, she had two goldfish. And their names are Frederica and Bob Marley. Yeah. I'm like, wow. All right. <laughs> anyway, and, uh, so, she, so Raven got some new pets, and I lost one. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. First, at the beginning of the night, before my family left, my brothers and my parents were still there. My little brothers were messing with each other, and all my friends were there already. And Colby went and rang the doorbell, and he was, like, trying to mess with Dad, but Raven answered the door first. She's like, oh, I wonder who it is. And Colby ran away. He, like, ding-dong ditched. And, uh, Raven was like, well, that's weird, there's nobody there. And then this girl, April, was like, that's how the Scream movies start. I'm like, great, now we're thinking about horror movies. Awesome. And so I'm already kind of like, well, that's weird. And they're all freaked out, because they watch too many dang scary movies. See, this is why I don't watch scary movies. One time Raven made me watch a scary movie. The scariest movie I ever watched was The Collector. Yeah, laugh at me all you want, but that is freaking scary as heck to me. She made me watch it. It was like during spring break when we had a sleepover. I couldn't sleep for the next two nights with the lights off. I had to sleep with the lights on. Like, I was trying to go to sleep the first night, I remember, and I called Brent like five times. I was like, hey, I'm scared. <laughs> He's just like, why did you watch it again? I'm just like, she made me again. <sighs> but anyway, they watch too many dang scary movies, so I don't do that. Mm -mm. But yeah, so they're like all freaked out. And then later, they're like, oh, we're going to get some stuff. We were downstairs. And they, like, go upstairs. They're like, we're going to go get some stuff. I'm like, where are they going? Like, I didn't want them leaving because it's, like, New Year's Eve. There's drunk drivers on the road. That's the reason they're staying night at my house afterwards, right? So I'm like, uh, where are you going? I followed them upstairs. And they're like, oh, we're just going out to Raven's car. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, so I'm about to go back downstairs. And they walk out the door. And uh, the door closes behind them. And they went through the garage. And I hear the bloody murder scream. And they both sprint back in the door. And they leave the door open. The door is just swinging open. Here's me thinking that there's some axe murderer out in my garage that's going to come 
kill me. You know, so I'm like, like, freaking out. So I just run downstairs screaming too. The door's wide open, and we just all screaming, and the guys and, uh, Fallon, Raven's sister, and Jody, this other girl, were there, and they're just like, what's going on? Finally, I realized I didn't even know what I was screaming about, so I go, what is going on? And they're like, the cat. I'm like, what cat? We go out there, and they're and they're like, look, it scared the crap out of me. And we look, and there's Ninja, my cat Ninja, in black. He's really cute. And he just he looks like he's sitting there just looking at me. So I'm like, what the? And they go over there and poke him with the broom, and he doesn't move, at all. And I'm just like, and I was afraid to go over there. I was like. So I was like across the garage going, what is, apparently, he, uh, he likes to mess with the garage door. Somebody was closing the garage, and he thought he would make a last minute ninja dash underneath it. And his head made it, but his body didn't, and his head didn't make it to the sensor, so it didn't make it go back up. So his neck was crushed by the garage door. It was fabulous. Not really. It's really sad. And now Jade, our little black kitty, she is sad. I don't know if she knows what happened, but she's like, where'd he go? Meow. Meow. She's not like the most social cat. Ninja was the really friendly one. But now she's like way more friendly because she's lonely. Poor baby. So yeah, it was a pretty eventful night. Yeah, that's what happened day and uh, went to church this morning and Brent was there or he came to church for like like 45 minutes because <laughs> we had to leave early to go to a family thing it was my great grandma's my mom's dad's mom she's like my only great grandparent left alive on that side of the family and uh, yeah we, she has this big Christmas get together every year, and it's always like way after Christmas because by now, New Year's time, it's like everybody's done with their, you know, own family Christmases and stuff, so we can all come together. And um, my mom's cousin, Erin, has this little girl. Her name's Landry. I think she's like, I think she's one or two. She might be two. She talks a lot. Um, she's so cute. Like, Oh my god, her eyes are like these huge brown things. Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. And Aaron dresses her up in like little tutus and little Ugg boots. And I'm like, she's so cute. And uh, today she's like, uh, her grandpa's Dennis, who's my mom's uncle. And he's pretty cool. He was, uh, he loves those kids, like his grandchildren. So he like plays with them constantly. Because I'm always around all of them together. Because uh, big family things. And he's just does not leave those kids alone. He loves them to death. <laughs> and he was, like, playing with Landry because she was grumpy. She was, like, crying because she was really tired because she hadn't had a nap, right? And, uh, Aaron was holding Landry, and Dennis was, like, he was, like, fist bump. He got her a fist bump. And, like, she's just, like, oh, fist bump. And I was just standing there. And me and Thad were standing just innocent bystanders. And, uh, she's, like, <laughs> and she's, like, fist bump with Dennis. And then she looks at me and she's, like, like, holds out her fist, look, fist bumped her, and then she just, dad, and then Colby, like, walked up and joined the group, and she's like, Colby, like, fist bump, it was so cute, just fist bumping everybody, so, uh, yeah, that's what happened today, and my grandma, my great-grandma, has her first great-great-grandchildren on the way, uh, one of her oldest grand, great-grandkids is Jessica, I'm not exactly sure who, Whose kid she is? There's lots of kids on that side. You know, it branches down. There are people I don't know how I'm related to them. But I know I'm related to them. And she is pregnant with twins. First babies. I'm like, wow, fun stuff. So, yeah. Grandma is, like, crazy. I'm like, how are you still alive? She is, I mean, not not to be that derogatory. She's awesome. Gram great grandma, she's really cool. She's been through a lot. She's lost two husbands. Sad. She's really nice. she's really sweet and she gives us all money for Christmas and stuff. She remembers all of our names too. I'm like that like that shocks me almost every time. I, like my own grandmother mixes the boys up especially. She mixes me up with my cousin Miranda who lives in Colorado. We never even see you know like we're never 
she never sees Miranda really, so I'm just like, why? Or, you know, sometimes I get called, like, Todd or Thad in my own house. It's my dad's name, Todd, by the way. My mom. <sighs> anyway, but Grandma Jance never misses up her name. It's like, she's like, oh, hi, Thad. Hi, Colby. Hi, Maddie. Like, she gets us all. I'm just like, wow. You be smart, girl. You be smart. Yeah. And I really miss Bree. Oh, my gosh. Every time I've wanted to hang out or could hang out, Bree's been working. And every time, like, she wants to hang out, I'm busy with family stuff or Brent stuff or, you know, whatever. And she's, like, so sweet and she doesn't let it bother her. But I'm like, I feel so bad. I'm like, I miss her, too. I'm just like... So I'm kind of... That's the good thing about going back to school. So I get to see Bree and everybody again. But, yeah. So I'm just like, ah. So... I go back to school the day after tomorrow. So tomorrow's my last day of break. Ugh. Wow. Crazy. But yeah, I better go dry my hair a little bit. Because I can't sleep with it wet or just... And not in a cute way. But yeah, that was kind of my crazy, hectic night. I'm probably, I'll probably think of more stories. I remember lots of funny, crazy crap happened at the party. So... I think I have a new subscriber on YouTube. Jody said she was going to subscribe to me. I hope she didn't lie. Nah. Any people who watch my videos, just... Just cuz. Why not? Come on. Who would watch this face? I would. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to go trim my hair and uh, call it a night. Pfft, yeah, right. I'm going to mess around with the computer more, but... I'm going to get off this. Okay.